everybody, welcome back. I hope you're doing really well. So today's video, I'm gonna do a very classic sort of graphic eye, nice glowy skin, a very wearable kind of everyday but glam sort of look. Really happy to be working with Cult Beauty on today's video. They are a brand that I absolutely adore. Cult Beauty have always been my go-to for like anything I need. They stock so many brands. Really nice mixture of like luxury brands, higher end, and then slightly more affordable. They've got hair care, skincare, makeup, fragrance, literally everything. So massive thank you to Cult Beauty for working with me on today's video. I love you also very kindly giving me a code for you to use so i will leave it on the screen here and it will be in the description down below so enjoy that i'm gonna zoom you in and get going but yeah all these products are available on cult beauty there'll be links to everything it's gonna be fun let's go my skin's a little bit dodge at the moment a bit dodge oh yeah by the way i've got hair why well, haven't it's obviously not mine oh yeah i thought it was kind of cute just don't look at the back but that's fine so for skin i'm gonna do like a very glowy my usual kind of thing. My skin's a little bit dodgy at the moment, but that's fine. It's all moisturised, we're ready to go. So I'm going to go straight in with foundation. So it's taking the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And um, this is the shade Stromboli. I love this. This is like the newer NARS foundation. I'm just using a Morphe brush. I'm going to blend that in. This is the M439. I'm just going to start buffing that in. It is beautiful. Like it gives a perfect mixture of like coverage and radiance it's like my absolute dream formula i don't often do like an all over foundation um just because sometimes it feels a bit much on my skin but this feels so lightweight it literally doesn't feel like you've got anything on it's so nice perfect as well because my face just does not tan um i always have fat 50 on my face anyway i'm not too bothered about tanning it whenever i do i like just scrub my face to death anyway so it like never really last so just need to use this to kind of warm up and match the rest just use two pumps and it's like done my whole face it's a very buildable formula which is nice it's good to have a foundation that's like really versatile i feel like it just adds such a nice like it still looks like skin but it's just a little bit more polished i always think it's good actually where i put my foundation on my hand you can see the coverage really well it's coverage, but it's still got that really nice glow and it still looks like skin. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at one layer. I think it's quite nice. Nice, it looks nice and natural. Now, moving on to concealer, this is a brand new product. Very, very exciting. Um, as soon as these arrived, I was like, so excited. A lot of my friends like raving about these and they really do live up to the expectations. So these are the brand new beautiful skin concealers from Charlotte Tilbury. I've got the shades 6.5 and 8 medium. I'm gonna use a mixture of both. Um, just one to add like a little bit more coverage and then one to really brighten up. So I'm gonna go in with eight medium first. I'm just gonna use that to kind of gradually brighten rather than putting on a really light concealer all of a sudden. It's quite nice to do it a little bit more natural sometimes. I remember like the old makeup days, everyone used to do like the lightest concealer possible. Um, and obviously it does give you that really, really bright under eye, but I think if you want like a more natural look, this is a really easy way. You've still got that brightness, but not like really obviously highlighted formula of this is so so beautiful i love charlotte tilbury so much like all her skin products are just amazing this is like actually kind of replaced my nars concealer like the past week which is it's really saying something because i love that so just patting that in underneath my eyes and you can see it's kind of just given a brightness without looking like whoa and i actually go to paris in a few days so i think this is kind of the makeup that i'm gonna do for like the evening i always like to try all makeup beforehand i feel like it's just good to see how it like kind of wears and like photographs and stuff before you're in that situation because by then it's too late we all know this okay, so that's super natural you could definitely leave it like this but i'm going to brighten it up a little bit i'm going with a slightly lighter one the 6.5 and just sort of more spot highlight I feel like around my nose sometimes it feels a bit darker And then I'm just going to leave that to sit for like a minute just so I get the most out of the coverage. Lovely. And then just patting that in. These are pretty full coverage. Really soft and like not drying at all, which is nice. Um, I've worn them pretty much every day. And they haven't like cracked or looked dry at all. I think a lot of people struggle with with like under eyes. I always feel like sort of changing the season, like where we're kind of going into autumn. Especially in England your skin just dries out like instantly so it's really nice to have something that you know is not gonna cake you a combination of those two is beautiful like still really looks like skin but just got a really nice glow and a slightly more polished version so that's it for base I'm just gonna set everything in place with the Charlotte Tilbury powder don't look at that that's gross I'm just gonna set underneath my eyes and my t-zone just anywhere that's gonna get a little bit oily 
See those two work really nicely together. I always like using like a same brand for just things that I feel like should go together, like concealer and then what you set it with. Of course, like there are combinations that work really well, but I always feel like they tend to be kind of designed with each other in mind, which is good. So these two just work perfectly together. Like I'm someone that never used to set my makeup because I hate setting powders that much. So this must be good. Nice flat even base to work with. So I'm gonna warm my skin up a little bit now. This is the Vive Modern Bronzer. I've got a slightly different shade this time. So I normally use the medium one and two, um, but this is tan. Just where it's summer, my skin's a little bit warmer. So I'm just taking the slightly warmer shade. I'm gonna bronze my skin up with that. And just using a Vive Blush and Bronze brush. And just building that bronze up. And rather than like contouring, I'm just gonna run a bit of that bronzer across my nose. I like the really sun-kissed, sort of glowy holiday skin. There we go, nice and bronzy, skin's all warmed up. Now for blush, I'm gonna take the Nude Sticks All Over Face Color. Um, I love these, I was like using the In The Nude shade all of last summer, and I think actually the year before. It's a shade Sweet Peach Peony, which I haven't used. Well, I've tried it out, but I haven't used it properly. Um, which is just like a slightly warmer, kind of more corally sort of shade. Um, really, really nice for summer. So I'm gonna pop that on the tops of my cheeks. And I'm just gonna go straight in with the stick. Um, I love the formula of these so much. A little bit across my nose as well. I'm actually just going to use my hands to pat that in. These are so, so nice. They're like a really nice kind of transition product into like cream blushes. I think actual liquid blushes can be a little bit daunting at first. Um, there's obviously always that fear that they're going to move everything underneath that you've just set. Um, but where these are kind of like a mixture of like a cream, but they're quite a solid cream. I don't know how to explain it, but the texture is just really beautiful. So they just sit on top of makeup really nicely. And they actually add like a nice glow to your skin. So it kind of looks like you've highlighted, but you haven't. And they have a really nice shade range as well. So I love these. You see they're called all over face color. So I'm going to use it on my lips as well. I like to have something that I can get like as many uses out of as possible. I'm really good for like traveling and stuff to just have something that's really versatile. So yeah, I absolutely love these and this color is beautiful. Just patting that in, I'm gonna kind of bring it quite high up. The skin's all done, looks really fresh and nice. I'm obsessed with those products and they just work so nicely together. Um, so I'm just gonna set everything in place with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is the new version, this is the Vitamin C Cactus Flower Water. I'll set my face with that. I definitely prefer setting my skin. Um, what am I saying? Do the words just ever not for anyone else? Because I don't know. Rather than setting at the end when everything's done. Because I feel like sometimes it just kind of like messes up your eyes and stuff. But I feel like when you just do it with your skin, it just like melts everything in really nicely and everything just feels glowy and like ready to move on to eyes. I love that product. Anything vitamin C I'm just obsessed with. So when it's done, I love that. I'm not actually gonna highlight or anything because I quite like the kind of natural glow that those products have. Um, it's quite nice to actually put like glowy products to the test and I feel like those definitely came through. So I'm gonna zoom you in and get going on my eyes now. For my eyes, I'm gonna do like a sort of graphic liner. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do yet. I really never know, but that's the fun of it, isn't it? I'm gonna start by taking a little bit of that Charlotte Tilbury setting powder and just running that across my lids just to make sure we don't get any creasing or anything and then just to add a little bit of dimension to my eyes i'm going to take the natasha denona mini gold palette and i'm just going to take this warm sort of taupey shade at the end and i'm going to take a vive 219 brush and just buff that into my crease a little bit um, i think sometimes when i do a liner look and i don't have anything on my lid it feels a little bit lost just sort of wiggling the brush not actually moving it too much but just kind of wiggling it back and forth adds a little bit more definition to your eyes i'm going to take the the power ink liner i spoke about this in a couple of videos ago saying it was like my favorite eyeliner ever and it definitely still is i love this so so much so yeah i'm going to use that i'm not really sure what i want to do i didn't know if i wanted to do like a kind of double liner or just keep it simple i want to keep it quite clean the hair is making me feel like i don't know let's just see what happens i guess love this it's like so so precise and i spoke about the shape of this liner i feel like i could just talk about this forever but just hear me out and um, the shape of it is so good because the top's flat so like it's perfect to hold you kind of hold it like a pen it reminds me of you know those like nice pens like the the pop
posh pens in primary school that were like, oh, I don't know what they were called, but like there was a blue one and a pink one obviously, because like, you know, gendering pens and stuff. They had those like grooves in them, and like if you had one of those you were the shit, and they were like the comfiest thing to hold. It reminds me of that. Um, it's just perfect hold, so. If that doesn't make you want it, I don't know what will. Let's start by doing like a nice little line just from the outer corner. And then I kind of just from the top just do like a long kind of sweep. And then I'm just gonna fill that in. I feel like I always start every line a look like that because then I feel like you can kind of just go anywhere from it. But I do love that. I love when it's just like really clean. This kind of skinny wing. So good for getting like really close to the lash line. It's so fine. Like that. It feels very like Maddie Euphoria. I love that like long kind of skinny wing. I'm starting the wing from the middle and then just pulling it out. I feel like it just elongates your eyes even more. Yeah, I feel like I was going to do like a really bold graphic liner. But I feel like if I take it too far, I'm just going to hate it today. I'm not in the mindset of that. So I'm just going to do the same on the other eye. Liner is so black as well. Love that. Best eyeliner ever, 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 ever made. I'm gonna pop some mascara on. This is my newfound favorite mascara. And um, this is the Cossas Big Clean. So, so good. Like, I feel like I'd seen a lot about this, but like, just never really got around to trying it. The chunkiest brush formula is just amazing. Like, it's not too wet. I love mascaras when they're like a little bit dried out. I feel like they kind of just work nicer. They don't feel as messy. It just has that formula like from the get go. So, it's perfect. It's so nice. It gives like length, but still chunky. It's just like my dream, dream lash situation. I'm just sort of focusing it more on the outer corner just to carry on that kind of like cat eye look. And just pull like the little edges off just to make it nice and chunky. I kind of want shorter chunky lashes today. Nice. And then I don't know how to do the bottom one. Maybe I should. I'm going to do some like little chunky bottom lashes as well. And I like to kind of use the bottom of the brush and just push up. And again, just pulling the bottoms off and then just doing another layer on the top lashes just to make sure they're all covered and super dark yeah nice and chunky just love a chunky lash so so much I just realized i didn't draw over my freckles and that's why i look weird so i'm going to take the vive rumor lip liner and just draw over those and i'm actually going to add a few more in as well it's quite nice to have quite a few There we go, that was cute. So I'm just going to do my lips and then we're all done. Taking the Vive lip liner in the shade Bark. Um, these are one of my favourite formula of lip liners ever. They're so smooth. I'm just going to line my lips with that. And I just sort of buff it in lightly just so it's not too harsh. So as I said, I'm going to use the same blush on my lips. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my finger and then just pat it on. I like the perfect lipstick consistency as well. I know they actually do lip colours. I think I've used like one of them, but these are like the most amazing lip consistency. Dry down kind of matte so they don't feel like they're going to move, but they have like a really satiny kind of glossy sort of feel. I love matching my lips with my blush. I feel like it just adds so much like harmony to your skin. Yeah, I think that is the finished look. I'm just going to show you everything up close so you can see it all together. If that is the finished look for today's video, I love this makeup so much. Just a very classic, kind of everyday, but a little bit more glam. I love all those products, I think they all work really nicely together. And um, there's definitely a few in there that are going to be like everyday favourites for sure. Yeah, massive thank you to Cult Beauty for working with me on this video, I absolutely love you. As I said, I have got a code for you, which I'll leave on the screen here again, and will be in the description box, as well as all the products that I've used, which will be linked down there as well. So, everything you need will be in the description box. Thank you so much for watching this, and thank you for being here, I hope you enjoyed it. I um, hope you have a lovely rest of the day, wherever you are, and I will see you all very soon. Love you!